Have you ever wondered how differently history would have played out if the Dogland actually existed? No more English Channel, no British naval dominance, just a vast grassland. Well, today we're going to find out, and more specifically, you're going to find out what caused me to do this, so make sure to watch to the end. We've been uploading daily for the past few months, meaning that if you're not subscribed, you might be missing out on that prime EU4 content. Subscribing really helps us out, so why not do your good deed for the day and give it a go? Right boys, so I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a bit of a, a growth, uh, there's a bit of a tumour around the British Isles. Uh, but this is... Levadia. Uh, it's basically, what if the Doggerland never went away? Uh, I think the mod itself was inspired by an alternate history hub video, and I love those videos, so now we're here. Obviously, we're going to be playing as the namesake, because I think that's appropriate. There's <laughs> something quite funny to me about Cornwall just being blown up and sent around here. Is that Brazil? I don't know how this war's going to go with France and England. I'm actually intrigued as to how that one's going to work. But we're going to be playing as Lavadia. I literally came fresh off of watching the video, so I'm pretty... And my ships are in that. Okay, I do have hull. <laughs> can I... Can I give that back? I don't... I don't want it. Wait, Lavadian is not an accepted culture. What's my accepted cultures? English. How oh, brilliant. <laughs> I don't know why I read it as Britannia and why it's so funny that it's actually Britannia. I'm just going to pick our neighbors as our rivals. That's what makes sense to me. <laughs> Britannia has... Uh, 13 ships. Oh, they must be down here. <laughs> they got one, two, or two per coastal provinces. And yet that many ships. We don't need these ships. We're not on an island, so having that as a navy, really not that important. And let's see if our king's any good. He is. Fernand Stafford. Wait, Ferdinand? I don't like not having English names. Uh, also, we are gonna delete the fort here. We're gonna roam the plains, boys. <laughs> This sucks. The Scottish are still guaranteed by France, and I don't understand what this province is, apparently. It'd be great if there was just a formal nation called Doggerland. That's me. I'm going to try and conquer the entirety of the Doggerland. Uh, Britannia declared war on France. Now, this could go very badly indeed. We need to make sure that we fight the English here, because if the Britannians take out France and force them into a personal union, bad, bad news. God, it just does look like someone took the uh, the British Isles, just took a blowtorch through them and just melted them. Oh, right, yeah, of course, the English trade node. Probably not as uh, fluid as it once was. All right, boys, we're going in for Lincoln. Heavily outnumbered and you're right to Austria. Boys, we're not, we're not going in for Lincoln. We're not. We're going in for Aberdeen. I really hope that they don't win that war, because if so, I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> I thought that was a wasteland province. Is that an actual province? It's not. So how could he stand there? The ways of the Scots, man. They're, they're crafty. I probably should have kept my navy as well. That was likely a mistake. Oh, okay, this is bad. This is bad. I've just scorched the earth when I didn't control the province. And that's probably stat quite. Not my finest uh, moment of view for that. Ugh, I swear I'm better than this. Usually, probably... Not really. Well, that's that is probably a stack. Yeah, that's a stack web. Okay. It's gone poorly. I won't deny that, but everything's fine. You know, until that's a four thousand odd families that have just been ruined. But I've ruined some of his families. And isn't that what Doggerland is all about? Get out of my rivers! Come on, win that. Please win that. Just win the siege. Just win the siege. There we go. Let's scorch the earth. Give us some more time. And everyone head in. Please. You can tell things were going badly because I dipped below five speed for a little while. And England has been, sorry, Britannia has been fully occupied by France. Right, what do they do? They took back, looks like almost all of their core, pro I think they just did take all of their core provinces. Okay. And Wales is alive. Oh, so is Northumberland. A successful, if needlessly painful war. Well, now what? I've, I've, I've kind of allied my only expansion target. So let's, let's get rid of that. They might have annulled their alliances. And so I will happily take this opportunity. That's, those are, mm -hmm, that's troops. Let's not die here, please. Oh, there's a lot of troops here, aren't I? It's gonna happen again. I've just been performing really poorly. I think it's the fact that if you alter the EU4 map, I get really confused as to how things work. Like the province distances don't make sense to me. And that's not on the mod, that's just on meme. I'm just stupid. Who declared war? Burgundy, okay. We're gonna travel everywhere to make sure that the Burgundians don't take any land. The Burgundians are, are taking land against my wishes. Well, if I can secure this sort of quadrant, that'd be fine. Do I not have a home trade node? Collecting from your non, not your main trade city. Well, what is my main trade city? Oh, brilliant. It doesn't count as being in the North Sea. <laughs> Gotta move my trade capital down here. Okay, well, that's good to know. Why would you, why is everything like pink? I don't like, I don't mind it. I just don't like it. Like this is just pink Navarra. This one, you could have just used the Irish flag realistically if you're gonna do this. That's just pink. This is just pink Scandinavia. Oh, brilliant. Brittany would join me in my wars. 
Yeah, thanks, mate. That's mm -hmm. super useful. Not a great coalition, but it's also not horrible. France has been excommunicated. Uh, lads, let's not be hasty here. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, they released Cornwall. Or what passes for Cornwall, I suppose. Never a good time when you have both France and Burgundy in a uh, coalition against you. Right, this should theoretically fix my income. Okay, well, at least England's my trade main trading port. Well, this is a turn of events. You are friendly and you're friendly. Brilliant. Let's ally both of you then. We're going to make ourselves a nice little circle of friends. You waited until I got allies? Well, Doggolan explodes into war once more. I say Doggolan. Doggolan's not really involved. It's mostly just this lot. Oh, Brittany. Oh, you poor sod. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> Okay, well, apparently we've got some decent traditions. We do not. <laughs> what the hell do I even do? <laughs> it took London. I can't meet up with my allies. Just trying to pick up all score where I can, but it's really dicey because all these goddamn provinces are connected. Oh, no. <laughs> right, let's liberate the capital time. I can't believe we actually... Dude, that's a stack wipe. Just go kill the rebels. I, it'll be fun. I promise. They, they're hiding a two-star general in there. I think I'll be fine still, but... The fact they're hiding in there is kind of sneaky. That's what my life consists of. Britain is gone. That's good for us. It means that drain on our uh, war score is gone. I should probably siege down my land now. Getting kind of high in loans. The Castilians have managed to take the capital over here. Which is really impressive. It's either the Castilians or the Austrians. It might be the Austrians. To be fair, they've just been all over in my land. I've just been trying to desperately rebuff them. I've spent so much mill power. Oh, my life for the last while has just consisted of slackening, gaining more generals, slackening, gaining more generals. This is objectively not a fun way to play E4. I don't know why I do it to myself. That's a fun way. That's fun. I like 100 tradition generals. A 3-5? Okay, we'll do that. Right, let's merge up the men. <laughs> Shout out to Castile for carrying this war. <laughs> so yeah, realistically, let's, let's get out of the war. I don't know why I don't know why I'd stay in it. That doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to get anything out of it. We're not as bad off as I thought we'd be. And we do have allies. I'm just glad that the coalition waited for the allies. That would have been really problematic otherwise. And the disaster. What? One of my only allies is under a personal union. But to be fair, Austria's probably going to collect them. And that does help me. Can you guys still join a coalition against me? No, you can't. Okay, sweet. We're fine. For saying that, I thought it was 30, not 50. So we're fine. Which means more conquest. Let's do it really messing with my head that I'm sieging down Orkney. I, I like, I understand that for most of you, this isn't gonna, you're like, okay, well, it's just a, a landmass. It's like Anne Bernard. It's just like another one. It's because I can kind of vaguely see the shape of my homeland. <laughs> it's really throwing me off. I still didn't make Lavadian my, uh, my main culture, which I need to. <laughs> but we've got too many English people now. <laughs> for God's sake, like, almost now a great power. Oh, they took Okay, there's a lot going on in the East. I'm not looking at it. I'm not getting bogged down. It always happens. I, I don't know what's come over me today. I'm playing so poorly. I'm just, I mean, I, I won the coalition war, but that's because I had to stay quiet and focus. I'm just not able to multitask and record and uh, and play the game. I can't even say the words. I can't record and commentate at the same time today. That's what happens when you have very little sleep for a very long amount of time. Austria's really going a bit mental. They've got Castile as a junior partner, and now they're going after Hungary. All right, not many people join a coalition, just a lot. So that's fine. We'll we'll do that. Provided France not involved, I'm I'm okay. There we go, Levadia. Personal union of monarch death. Is it the Austrian? Am I going to join the the cohort of this lot? What did I just do? Why would I make him a general? Why would I do that to myself? I don't need him. I've got I've got a three star general. <laughs> I swear to God, if he dies. Let's say independence. This is, and I, I don't want to blame the mod here, but this has been the worst playthrough of EU4 of my life. And Austria in 20 years has gathered me, Castile, and Hungary. What the hell do I do now? Apparently fight Granada. Do I just role play as the loyal little vassal? That's, that's, that feels like what I should do now. I don't, I, do you want to get a bit rowdy? No? 
Loyal attitude. So all of us are just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna chill. So I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna sit here. They'll get weak eventually. I just need to build up, bide my time, develop my province. I'm gonna have to play tall. The game's forced me to play tall. I can't expand. Oh, this is actually my nightmare. Conquer new states. Well, not for long. We took war operations from Granada. You're playing second Bohemia. Oh shit, buddy, you gotta chill. The issue is I've got a fourth. Why are you up here? Why? Why? Why would you do this to me? Why would you siege down my land? Don't come to Doggerland. We'll sort you out around here. Why would you come here? <laughs> oh god, I miss the English Channel. I miss it so much. Ah, oh, Jesus. Go somewhere else. I don't want to have to fight you. I am a vassal. I'm doing Austria's work for them. I'm fighting their wars. In the meantime, they've sieged back their capital. Then I'll lose stability right as Austria wins their war. Welcome. Welcome to the fold. Enjoy. Can't even ally you. But, oh, you're loyal as well. We're all loyal. Is that... That's what we are. <sighs> A six, three, four. Seymour, you would have been great. You would have been amazing. But unfortunately, I'm at war with this. Also known as bigger than the coalition that fought me in the first place. <laughs> you know what? You know what, England? Screw you. Hey. I'll pay the money, sure. Just can we, let's, let's screw over England. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'll be a vassal. Just screw them over. The Von Tannenbergs. Thanks for the stability, buddy. We're Von, it's not even a Von Habsburg. <laughs> Who knew the Von Tannenbergs had it in them? Well, there we go. <laughs> we, we beat Britannia, lads. We beat Britannia. Thank you guys for watching. That was probably the most depressing video I've ever had to make. I think that's the reason why there's an English channel. Honestly, I think this video proves it definitively. If you want to check out this mod and uh, have as much fun as I did, then <laughs> there'll be a link in the description. It's clearly quite a well-made mod. I've just been miserable. <laughs> I'm so glad this is not a thing. I like being an island nation. In any case, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Shout out to our Patreons, Jado52, Cargan, Flyerton, Henrique, Redguard76, and Xiaomi. Your support means a lot, guys.